Hey everybody, it's Joyce Leck from Black Hair Compass here and today I wanted to go over how I do my water only retwist. This truly is a water only retwist. You can integrate products in if you'd like, but I kind of see that as defeating the purpose if you're someone who's trying to keep your regimen as product free as possible. Um, I've actually already done the, um, the water only retwist on my hair. But um, I am going to take one apart so that we can go over how to do it together. Okay, so we would have our two locks. Because this is a twist that I just undid, it's pretty much like in its place. But um, what you would do is you would make sure that all the hairs are in their perspective areas. You would take a, a you know, a whatever, water and spritz it on your hair. I'm not going to do that because I don't want this puffing up. But um, you would spritz it. It doesn't have to be like sopping wet, but damp is good enough. And this is kind of the a little bit difficult part to explain. But what you're going to do is you're going to spin the lock between your fingers. And you're going to do that until it gets not tight, but a little bit taut, right? You're going to spin this other lock in the same direction because this twist will only work if they're going in the same direction. And then once that's done, you're going to overlap them and trade places. Then overlap them and trade places. Now this particular type of twisting is called rope twisting. I'm not going to go into too much detail on how to do this because believe it or not, this is the same kind of twisting technique I would use on my loose natural hair to achieve a mini twist that would last me for weeks and weeks and weeks. So I'm going to actually um, put a little tag at the top of this video so you can link over to that video if you want a little bit more in-depth explanation. But that's all it is. This is just rope twisting. Um, and it, the difference between regular twisting and rope twisting is that this kind of twist is more likely to stay in place longer. And the next day, when it's completely dry, you should see the twist still intact. And all you will do is just unravel it. And there you go. Your twist, your water only retwist should still be intact. And these will stay in their respective locks. The hair, the loose hairs will stay in their perspective locks. And, um, and yeah, that's all there is to it. And we achieved this with just water and letting it air dry. Um, depending on your hair texture, you know, this may or may not last, but I find that for me, this can last the full five or six weeks until my next retwist. And I'm even able to allow water to gently just run, um, across my head if like let's say I worked out and I got really sweaty on my scalp I can still let water just run through my hair to remove the sweat and these will still they will puff up but they will still remain in a coil and intact um, I can't like roughly like scrub it but um, I can just let water run through it and it will stay in for me and that's pretty much all there is to it um, you can see that I have the twist still in all over my head um, I always tell myself I want to keep these in for like a week, but I always just end up taking them out the uh, very next day because they're already dry and yeah, I kind of just want my hair out. But <clears throat> you can, you could leave this in longer if you if you wanted to. I guess if you wanted it to kind of be up and out of the way, hopefully it can come back to you guys with what it looks like when you take all the twists out. Okay guys, so I am back and I just um, took out all of the twists. So you guys can see kind of what it looks like once I take out the twist. It looks exactly like, you know, a retwist that you would see if you, you know, went to the salon and you used products and you sat under the dryer. But again, this was achieved with no products, no dryer. Just let your hair air dry. Um, you know what and to just I guess give you a disclaimer on kind of like the results I've had the back of my head holds this um, water only retwist much better than the front and I and I'm starting to believe the reason for that is because I always am doing this and moving my hair from side to side and I think that interaction in the front kind of makes the front frizz a lot faster than the back um, so that's just something to keep in mind. This is not like a gel hold. It's not like, you know, any other kind of hold. It's just 
you know, your hair holding place once the water has evaporated, so you will have to be a little bit more gentle with it, but so far I have really liked it. Um, anyways, but uh, thanks for tuning in and until next time.